Hey, what's going on you guys? Drum Machine Addicts is back again with another highly requested tutorial. After a bit of a hiatus, I had a subscriber contact me and ask me how to use key groups. Now, for those of you who don't know what key groups are, let me explain. Say you have a sound that's loaded in a drum program, like an 808, and you don't want to divide it using 16 levels, which only lets you go up by semitones. You want to map it across your entire MIDI keyboard that's connected to your computer. Well, the way to do that would be to use key groups. So to show you how to do that, let's first load up a drum program. If you look to my right, or rather if you look to the left of the software, you'll see that I have the legacy MPC content loaded. So let's go ahead and select the program from that to begin. All right, as you can see, we have our sounds loaded up one by one, each has a pad of its own. We have kicks, snares, hi-hats, so on and so forth. But let's say with this kick drum right here, I wanna map this across my MIDI keyboard and I don't wanna use 16 level. That's where key groups come in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch the program type from drum to key group. Now, notice when I did that, everything that was assigned to the past dis disappeared. All right, have no fear. We go to program edit to rectify this. You wanna go to layer one and you wanna select the kick drum. Now, if we go back to our primary screen, we see all of these pads say kick, right? But notice, as we go up the pads, they go up in octaves, where middle C will be right here. So that's what our kick originally sounded like. But we can go up across the keyboard using the pads or with the regular MIDI keyboard if you have one. So that's pretty much how to use key groups. And also another question I was posed with uh, through email was how to bounce out your songs as MP3s. Really, really, really simple, okay? So I'm gonna create a fake drum program right here, or rather a pattern, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So. All right, let's say I have my sequence available to me right now. And let's say I have different variations of sequences that I wanna bounce out into a full MP3 or a full WAV file. I simply go up to song mode on the MPC software. Song mode is designated by what I believe is the uh, treble. Well, I'm not even gonna ask what that is. It's up here. <laughs> All right, now, as you have more sequences, these pads will fill up to say sequence one, sequence two, or whatever you have loaded. In this case, I have sequence one. So what I can do is just put sequence one on there and I can duplicate it multiple times. All right, now I have 32 bars. So let's say that's the end of my song and I'm ready to export. I go to file, export, and I can choose any of these or I can choose audio mix down. All right, you go to audio mix down. You can either bounce it as a WAV file, an AIFF or MP3 file. For this, we're just gonna do an MP3 file. 320 kilobits and 44.1K. All right, and then export. I'm not gonna show you after this portion because it's pretty much self-explanatory. Plus, I'm not gonna show you where I get all my samples from. <laughs> but there you have it, folks. That is how you use key groups, and that is how you export songs. Once again, it's Drum Machine Addicts. Please don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everything. Help us get those numbers up so we can go ahead and keep supplying you with content and be on the lookout for our exclusive club coming really soon where we'll have premium content available for all of our loyal subscribers. Once again, Drum Machine Addicts back again with another tutorial and we are out. Peace.